Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the era of traffic jams. You know, those delightful moments where you sit in your car wondering if your life is just a never-ending episode of Survivor Rush Hour Edition. But fear not, road warriors, because today, we're diving into a concept that might just change the game, the hum rider. Imagine driving a car that not only gets stuck in traffic but decides not today and just lifts itself over the congestion like it's playing a game of leapfrog with the other vehicles. It's like a Jeep Cherokee decided to audition for Cirque du Soleil. Now let's take a moment to hit that subscribe button so you can join us for more automotive adventures that are crazier than your uncle's fishing stories. Seriously, you don't want to miss out on this wild ride. All right, back to the Hum Rider. At the heart of this beast is a hydraulic suspension system that allows it to lift up to 5 feet, 1.5 meters, in the air. That's right, it can literally glide over traffic like a bad dream where you forgot to wear pants. And how does it pull off this party trick? It's powered by electric motors connected to a hydraulic pump that feeds pressurized fluid into the suspension. Just a flick of a switch, and boom, you're towering over the Honda Accord that was cutting you off just moments before. Now don't get too excited, the Hum Rider was designed as part of a marketing stunt for Verizon, so it's not rolling off the assembly line anytime soon. But let's talk about the specs. This beast is modeled after a Jeep Cherokee and weighs in at a hefty 8,000 pounds, 3,629 kilograms. That's more than double the weight of your average coupe. It's got a top speed of 15 miles per hour, 24 kilometers per hour, which sounds like a leisurely stroll for your grandma. And yes, it might take you a while to get to work, but at least you won't be stuck in traffic. Under the hood, instead of a regular engine, you'll find a small Honda V-Twin gas-powered engine. This little guy drives a hydraulic pump that powers the entire hydraulic system. And there's about 55 gallons, 208 liters, of hydraulic fluid coursing through 300 feet, 91 meters of tubing. That's a lot of fluid. While the Hum Rider isn't destined for mass production, thank goodness, it showcases how creative engineering can tackle the everyday problem of traffic. But, let's be real, there are practical challenges. The technology would be prohibitively expensive, not to mention the safety concerns of a giant vehicle maneuvering over little cars. Imagine the horror of someone getting crushed by the mothership, plus maintenance for such a complex hydraulic system? Yeah, good luck with that.